Welcome Raiders to another Raid Shell Legends video. In this one, we're going to be looking at gear and how to gear cleanse. Let's start with the most important things, right? So, gear is just an, or artifacts that have substats are known as gear, right? And there are some type of artifacts that actually give you artifact bonuses. Okay. But does that mean you have to use that gear set just for the bonuses? No. You can easily build your champion, you know, with offset pieces. Like I have regeneration here. Regeneration with speed substat, critical rate, and critical damage, right? It's a damage dealing, an end game to mid game, well, mid to end game, damage dealing piece that also has speed, which can still be used in the rendered regeneration set. So these are just what you call offset pieces. And sometimes you might get some pieces that you can combine like these two cruel sets that had high crit rate. I didn't care about the set. I just only cared about the stat. But luckily, I had two pieces of cruel that both had high crit rate. Boom. Combos. Now I have a two-piece set. Right? Before we go any deeper, I want to just talk about the actual artifact sets now we're not going to go through every single one because honestly most of them are self-explanatory if you want to know a more in-depth guide i have one in the comments below you will see this right it's a link and a link to my discord as well and you can come here and it'll tell you what you know what the what the set is and what stats we're looking for primarily right it has everything um the only ones we don't have right now well i did tell btn to add it is these two but i can tell you in this video don't worry by the end of this video hopefully it'll be updated this is also known as the rolls right each artifact set can get a certain type of substat rolls. If we're talking about amulets and other things, uh, it's usually amulets are, are their own thing, right? Because they don't get percentages substats. They only get flat stats main, flat stats um, substats. But let's say you had like a glove, right? Defense. And it's a three star, okay? And you have 4% HP, 4% uh, crit rate, and 4 speed. Would you keep that? Well, if we look at this graph here, 4% means it's high rolling. It's giving you the equivalent of what a, a, a four star medium, right? would give you four, would give you 4% always, or should, unless it low rolls, it gets a three, and if it high rolls, it gives you five. So if this three star right here is giving us 4% on like a glove, it's already basically pretending to be a four star gear. Now, here's the thing. You can always roll up that gear, right? Let's use this one for example. You level up the three star to four. You could always still get worse. You could get yourself 2%. So now your amazing three star piece, supposedly, it gave you high rolls, and now it's giving you 
the equivalent of what a two star is doing. You see? So you got to be careful when you're reading gear. You have to look at the substats because that's a, that's a mathematical language. It's telling you how much you're actually getting from the set. Now, that's all RNG, and you can't calculate that. Most people can't in their head, like, okay, 33% chance of this, but then if I double, that's 15. You know, most people are not going to do that. They're just going to waste the silver, and by you wasting silver, you're gambling. They want you to gamble your substats, so you run out of silver, and then you need to spend money in raid, or you need people like me to gear cleanse for you because you're out of money. All right. You can see all the stats here. In the, it should be in the link below. You should be able to click this and see this as well. Now, I want to go to that piece that I just rolled. This is a five-star, right? I had this in my inventory. I rolled it, and I just got a nine. I think that was a five, if I recall. So that gave me a low roll. This is a five-star piece. I want five or five percent or higher. Actually, I want higher all the time, right? But it gave me a four. Now, you might be like, well, that's speed and HP and crit damage. They sound good. Should I keep this piece? Well, let's go to the defense real quick. I don't know why I closed it off. Give me a sec. Right? Let's go here. And let's go to the, the defense set, which technically the defense should be right below, but it's trash. It's going to be, you're looking, you're pretty much looking for just defense, right? Um, defense, HP, and, and, um, and resist. Pretty much. No one's going to actually look for those stat stats because no one really uses defense, right? If you look at the set, all it cares about is getting more defense. It's a very early set. So you look at these substats and you think, HP. Okay, cool. It's a headpiece. So the HP percentage scales with that headpiece. Okay, maybe I'll put this one on somebody who's an HP champion. But I need to increase their defense so I could use the artifact set two piece to get that extra defense. You could just use resilience, right? Resilience, yeah, that, that's two piece set. You could use that instead. But let's say you don't have that because you're early game. Then you have to do this. First of all, for me, it landed crit damage. Early mid game people do not crit need crit damage you need crit rate because you want to have consistency in your damage you don't want to be like this you know there's already affinities in the game which cause rng there's already a three percent resist in the game that causes rng there's already rolling gear that's rng why would you want your champion's damage or overall consistency through the round to be RNG as well, right? So for me, this is already a sell. If I was a early to mid game, early, this is okay. Mid game, eh, I guess. End game, no, right? Let's go to this piece. Would this piece be worth rolling only for the speed? If you're early game, and you need triple act, or you need triple speed, you could roll this to four. It's not going to cost you too much just to see if it's going to triple, even if it lands on those two stats first. Okay, so we got a five, so it didn't low roll, right? You'd be like, all right, cool. I'm going to roll again. Hopefully, I get accuracy or speed. This is if your speed, if you're earlier mid game, not for me. I'm deleting this. Okay, you've invested to level 8, and now you got 13. This piece 
was supposed to give you 15. It's a five. It's a five star gear. Five, five, five is 15. We only got 13. So it was two low rolls and one medium. No high rolls. We could have got a six maximum. So potentially you could have got 18 max. Minimal 12. Minimal 12, 18 max. What do we get? 13. Is 13 out of 18 good? Normally, no. But if you're early game, this is good. Because it has, what else? Accuracy. Every champion early game needs accuracy and speed. But it's a trash piece. All right. So we've been looking at a lot of blues. Um, we looked at a, an epic. Now let me show you a legendary. A lot of people will will. So everyone knows. Most people know. Let's say you don't know. A blue can roll two substat rolls. A uncommon can roll one substat roll. A common doesn't get uh, an extra roll. It just op unlocks. It unlocks the first subset. So common piece of gear is trash. Uncommon piece of gear can be good in spider. It can be good early game if it has, you know, speed or act, and you double it. Okay. When you get to early to mid game, you're gonna want to use rare piece of five star gear and try to get double rolls. So if there's like an accuracy subset or a speed subset, you're trying to get double, not one 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 one, or one one. One one means it lands here and then it lands here. Now an epic will give you three subset rolls. You can roll three on them, right? But this is a legendary, so we get four subset rolls automatically shown to us. Now we can roll this four times. Most people know this already here's the part where i would say 90 percent of players mess up they see stats like this right and they go accuracy and speed i could quad roll <laughs> you know so hold on before you try to go nuts and waste all that silver ask yourself is this a main piece or is this an off piece if it's an if it's a main piece gear that means that this would go on champions who want defense who want to use this artifact set and all the substats are synergizing to cause uh not to cause to to give more power or as we call it pp player power All right. So I see this automatically. I see 10 accuracy. Did t is 10 accuracy good for a six star, right? Look at the exclamation rolls and tell yourself, what was the max for six star? I know it's 12. So I see six and I think I lost 11 or 12. I already lost one or two stats right there. Crit damage. What was the max that I could have got it as a six star? The max... If you look at the rolls, remember, I'll show you here. Look at accuracy. We come down to six star. Accuracy is 12. Crit damage, 7%. So then I come over here. So I'm already getting reduced on my crit damage. I'm already getting reduced on my accuracy. What about speed? Let's look at the rolls. Speed, the max, will always be 6. You can never get a 7. Player is smart about that. They want you to use your glyphs. They want you to buy those speed gears packs, you know? So this technically, as people would say, medium rolled or high rolled its own. Because 6 is the max. The lowest you can get is 5. You can't go lower than 5 on a 6 star, which is good. 
Um, and the HP could have given us HP percentage. But it gave us HP flat. So already, three substats on this legendary defense attack weapon. Defense artifact set. Thank you, M4 NT, for the subscribe. I forgot to turn on. I forgot to turn off alerts. Anyways, it's gonna keep. It's gonna have. It's. I can't take it. I can't turn it off now. Um. So you see this type of piece, and you think to yourself, uh, "Is it worth to roll?" Of course. If you're early mid game, you have to roll this piece. You would be nuts to throw it away. For me, I'm already seeing a problem. But for the sake of the video. Let's roll it to four, because it's not going to cost me too much. The, the cost to get to level four, and if I sell this at level four, I've made money back. It's not going to cost too much. You get to level eight, you might not make too much money back. All right. I've lined it accuracy. What was it before? 19. What did I get now? I mean, sorry, it was 10. Now it's 19. That's a plus of 9. So first it gave me a 10. Now it gave me a 9. Let's check the graph again. Accuracy. 6 star. I got 10. And then I got 9, which is the worst you can get on a 6 star. So I got double low rolled. Now most people would be like, hey man, what if it quads? What if it trips? And what if you want to use like... Um, what if we want to use a Chaos Ore? Yeah. Five head. First of all, this is a very rare resource. Second of all, why would you use it on this artifact set? Third of all, you have problems and should probably get some medical attention. Just saying. Um... <laughs> Let's just roll it to level 8 just for the sake of the video. Let's see if I double roll. Okay. It gave us a 10. It gave us a 9. It gave us a 10. That's how we got 29. So potentially, I could have had already already 36 accuracy maximum on that piece right 12 12, 12 no 30 yeah 36 or 33 but what did i get 29 now am i gonna roll this for a quad it's already doubled so yeah, I'm going to roll it. For you guys. The whole point of rolling gear is to understand the, the substat language. Okay? We have this thing on my stream called PP, player power, equals stats. Right? The stats is more powerful than the gear. Can you use artifact sets smartly or with a Hell Hades, a Hell Hades optimizer? I can't believe this piece keeps fucking... So we got a 10, we got a 9, we get a 10, and then we get a 9. I still have not got 11. Where's my 11? Where's my 12? Am I blind? Is, is it a 5 star? It's a 6 star piece. Now, most people would be like, Oh, triple roll, yeah! I'm over here crying, man. I can't get back that silver. That's almost 500,000 silver gone. To tr triple roll? I wasn't going to roll this piece. I was going to roll it at four. I saw a low roll. I'm out. I'm out. I don't need quad act on defense. 
Why? It already has a low, it has flat HP, it has one reduced crit damage, and speed, whatever. I build defense champion slow people anyways. And if I wanted them fast, I wouldn't put them in defense. If I want them more HP, I'd put them in resilience. <sighs> I'm not going to roll this for the quad. I will keep this maybe for an artifact enhancement for, just to get the points. And if it quads, I might actually just... Um, I might actually just uh, Chaos Ore. See if I can try to get like, you know, maybe quad speed or a quad defense percentage would be nuts. Because I don't need quad ac in here. Now, if you're earlier mid game, this piece is nuts. It's going to stay with you for a while. But unfortunately, this is not enough. It's not. Because it could have gave us so much more. I've seen five stars give more. This is why we say, people say like, oh, so your five blues. I still have five star blues. I still have five star gear. You see? So, all right. There, we talked about that. Now let's talk about a colorless champion. All right. You might be like, what does that mean? What does a colorless champion mean? All right. If you've ever played Pokemon, there's this term called colorless. They're not a certain type, right? They just, there's no, so when I use it here in raid terminology, I mean the champion does not have any artifact bonuses. They're just using random pieces, right? And when you're random, when you're not tied to something, you're color less right there's no there's no actual color there's no artifact i guess we could call it setless <laughs> setless would be the more proper term but i just use colorless because because everyone knows that um so i want to show you my yannicka here right she's in a colorless like she's setless and you might be like how did you know how to choose the stats for the champion that would be more of like a building a champion guide, but not to go too much. I just want to look, show you. So, sh normally you're going to be building crit rate gloves early to mid game. But when you get to end game, you don't want the crit rate up there. You want the crit damage up there and the crit rate in the substat. So, notice when I was rolling this piece of gear, it, I was looking, I saw crit rate da uh, damage in the main set. I was like, oh, I need crit rate. Crit rate rolls. I rolled it three times hoping that it would land crit rate. It landed attack. And the only reason why I kept this piece, there's also attack flat. So the attack percentage and the attack flat, they work together. That flat is going to help my attack percentage go even higher. Does that mean you always want attack flat with attack percentage? No. But, since it's crit damage piece, it's a stun piece, which is not really a damaging set. It's more of a controlling set. But it was a six star epic crit damage. And I thought, at least it has the crit rate, at least it has the attack percentage and the attack. It landed two attack. If it would have landed only one attack percentage, I would have sold it. If it would have landed two HP and one attack percentage, I would have sold it. But that two was just enough. Let's look at the rolls of the attack percentage. 18 percentage. That little green thing on the right, that's a glyph. I glyphed it 3%. Okay? Um, so let's look at the rolls. So six star epic. Gloves, crit damage, right? This this only showing substats. Unfortunately, this doesn't show main stat. But we're not looking at the main stat. I already know the main stats, and hopefully you do. Six star. Crit damage, substat. I mean, uh, uh, attack percentage, sorry. Attack percentage right here. Let's come down. What's the most I could have got? Seven. 
So 777 is 21. Did I get 21? No. I got 18. That means I must have got 6, 6, 6. It started with 6. I landed one roll on it. It got 6. I lend two rolls on it. It got 6. This little number right here indicated indicates how many times you landed there. Okay? Just like this piece, we landed three on accuracy. So that's how you know you can keep track. All right. Now I'm going to go more to the build. We're going to keep going. All right. Now, real quick, I just want to get a totally random piece, right? Like totally random. Maybe I could do it in, in Dragon 20 so it could be a little bit faster. Let's say you're farming Dragon 20 and you have a really amazing team. And you're just farting for, you're farming for speed gear or whatever, right? Now, gear isn't just always the, um, it's one of the, Gear is, is the most important thing in this game. People think champions are the most important. No, it's the gear. You can, I can literally build a common to kill you. There's two commons in the games that can actually kill almost any champion. Right? Um, they're not OP. They're pretty trash. But if you put the right gear on them, they can smack. Um, one is Deathhound, right? A lot of people used to build that champion way back in the days, even in even in like gold four and plat. Yes, people were trolling. Um, but using the artifact sets, if you guys have seen my previous video a few days ago, um, top nine builds, right? Top top builds to build your champions. You definitely people are spam keep wait, oh, calling me right now. Um, I usually get like called for, by Florida like twice a year. Don't don't ask me why. I mean twice a day. So artifact synergy can be good. Like let's say I had a specific tank in Guardian, or like defensive gear, and I have another champion in speed gear. That speed champion is going to be going faster, so they can keep healing that tank that's provoking. All right, so I got a piece of gear here, stage twenty. Six star. All right. Let's say this is you. And you just got this. HP percentage, six star blue with speed and crit damage. All right. I'm not even looking at the, the set bonus. I don't care. It's whatever. Like, that's just, an, that's just an extra. I'm just looking at the color of the, the, color of the artifact. Right? Blue, purple, uh, orange, legendary. You know, I don't see greens or commons. You probably shouldn't by the time you're at this level anyways. Um, let's see. It's a 6-star, so it got the max HP percentage. That's nice. It got a speed substat. Ooh, that's nice. Speed substat is always good. It got a crit damage. Okay, crit damage can be okay, but it's not that good. Because you need crit rate to make that crit damage better. But I know you could be like, but what if I have a champion that always crits? Or they, I can build them super low crit. You know, like 50%. And I can make them always crit. That's a conditional. That's based on a champion's kit. Or auras. Right? We're looking at a piece of gear from just the, the language. It's telling us. Now let's keep this. Now I want to roll it. Okay? But gear cleansing is not only, it's not only about just rolling gear. It's about when, to, when you, sh you should know when to roll and when not to roll. The less you roll gear, the more silver you will have. And the less junk you will have in your account. And the, the, the gear that you actually do max 
to level 12 or 16 is better investment for your future raid account, right? That's how you progress faster. Uh, sorry, faster. If you level up every piece of gear just to gamble, you're gonna you're basically gambling. That's what you're doing. And you're wasting a lot of your resources. That's finite. It's a limited. All right. So let's roll this to four for the video. I wouldn't keep this personally. But if you're early mid game, yes, because that speeds up set. And that's gonna help you proc. It's gonna help you proc the artifact set more. Because it says every time you hit, you have a chance of putting a poison. So speed helps. And I might be like, what am I looking for? I'm looking for speed. I don't care about the crit damage. So it's, I'm looking for a double roll. The moment this goes one in one, it's dead to me. See? I see that. It's already dead to me. I'd o I would only keep this if I just got to stage 20 dragon. And I don't have any HP gloves with speed substat. Then I'd keep this. Otherwise, it would be an instant sell. All right, so let's say I need to gear cleanse my account, right? You have like max 13 out of 13. You're like, this is going to take forever. And or maybe you're like, ah, I don't know what to sell. I don't want to sell good stuff. And people are going to, you know, clown me. Or, you know, I, I'm a hoarder. I like to hoard everything. <sighs> You know, like, maybe you like to just keep everything and you don't like to sell nothing. Okay. Now I'm going to help you now figure out how to keep the best of what stuff. All right? Now you can use, um, you can use the, 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 in the link below, you can use the gear, right? The gear command that lets you see all the different gear sets. Like, I'll give you an example. If I'm looking for speed set, I'm literally only looking for speed. Only. Now, if we check this real quick, right? You'll see that the speed substat, I don't know why I keep closing this off. I should just minimize it. In the speed substat, um, well, he didn't put it, to, I thought he put it down. Maybe it's, Maybe it was written down here and it got deleted. But the speed substat is basically like the accuracy set. The only difference is you're flipping them, right? So speed, then ac in the speed set. You could argue the next one would be crit rate, right? So it's speed, uh, accuracy, and crit rate. When you're looking, when you're touching accuracy, it's going to be accuracy, speed, are the main stats you're looking for. Can you add crit rate? Can you add percentages? Yes, but you're adding more limitations. When I look for accuracy, I'm looking for perception set and accuracy set. That's it. All right? I'm coming straight down to perception. If you guys don't know what it does, you're looking for accuracy, speed, and percentages. Pretty much. Now, Let's talk about some damage sets, but we can even talk about normal stuff. Let's look at uh, crit damage for, for, for example, right? Crit damage just says two piece crit damage plus 20%. Okay. Let me move myself real, real quick. All right. Now let's look over there, right? And you see it has crit rate, it has double roll speed, and it has HP flat. When you come over here to my crit damage, it says what are the, mo what are the most important priorities? Crit rate, crit damage, and percentages that work with the set slash champ you're using the piece for. Would you sell this piece? Because it doesn't follow that guide. No. Because Just because it doesn't 
actually get exactly what it's supposed to have. That's the optimal substats you'd want on crit damage gear. But if you wanted some fast crit damage pieces, you can do this as well. Let's look at the next piece. A, it has the crit rate, it has the crit damage, and it has the percentage. It doesn't have to be HP percentage. It can't be defense percentage because weapons do not land defense substat just like shields do not land attack percentage. That is a fact in raid. So guess what we landed? Attack. Would I have kept it if it landed HP? Probably. I don't have a lot of HP nukers like Magnar, Mag like Magnar or Sir Nick, but I'd keep it. But this landed attack. Do you know how many champions can actually wear this piece of crit damage set? It's pretty good. Let's look at this one. Crit damage, two, 18%. Okay, so it landed 6, 6, 6. I got 18. What about the HP percentage? I got 7. Nice. Where's my crit rate? No crit rate. Does it have speed? What does it have? HP flat. So technically, I'm trying to triple roll this piece. But honestly, it's not even that good. Now, like I said, I don't have any HP pieces. So my head, as the cleanser, I probably went, I need a piece for Magnar. Or I need a piece for an HP nuker. I don't have one. And it's the only one. Now you might be like, but you, what if you have it, another set? Like Crit Raid, or Lethal Set, or Instinct Set, that has the exact same stuff that's Instead of the HP flat, it has the crit rate. So it has the three stats that you want. More power to the, to the substats, right? We're, we're happy with that. But in this situation, this is like, this, is, this piece right here, for me, I should sell this. But I'm probably holding on to it because I'm probably going to use it on, on an HP nuker. But yeah, most likely I should let this go. Let's look at this HP piece, uh, helmet piece, right? Crit rate, it high rolled once. HP, two mediums, 6-6. Six, six. Speed, it high, uh, well, it got six and then five, so low rolled once. And then uh, defense flat. Is it an amazing piece? No. This is what I call a risk piece. If you have the silver, Right? Let's say you have hundreds of millions of silver. You can roll this piece to land what two stats would you go? If I'm trying to do damage and crit damage, what's the highest priority? What do we say? Crit rate, crit damage, and what? Percentages. Can you roll the speed? Yes. But if you're trying to go fast, why this piece? We're looking more for the crit rate, so we want double crit rate or double HP percentage. Primarily. So that is what you would do. Um, let's say you have... I'm going to show you an example of something. I want to show people an off-piece set. I've been showing you main piece sets. Now this is going to be an off-piece. That's, that's such a bad piece. Jesus Christ. Give me a second. I know I have to have one somewhere. Really? Okay. You can tell I've been uh, cleansing lately. Maybe I have some off pieces here. Okay. We're getting closer. I like that. Alright. Here we go. It's a Fury set, right? It's going to be damage increases as HP decreases. Cool. You don't want too much HP. 
in this set, right? So that way you can get to that four piece bonus faster. But because if we look at the if we look at this and go to Fury, you want crit rate, crit damage, and percentages just like crit damage because the set is trying to do damage and that's the best way you can do it with that type of logic all right we have hp percentage so we have the percentage do we have the crit rate no we don't have, do we have the crit damage no we have defense percentage which synergizes with the shield because shield is defense flat right and it has speed so who would i put this on someone who wants high hp high defense and wants to go quick sounds like a support sounds like a hp tank who has maybe some debuffs and they don't require no accuracy right maybe build um like a champion who can always land uh let's see so a champion who can always put debuffs without having accuracy, like it doesn't get resisted. This will be perfect, right? Because you can slant, you don't need that accuracy in the substat. Now, you might argue to yourself, what if I get accuracy though? I can get it to I can get the triple roll 50 uh triple roll HP and then get ACK. That is a possibility. It's also a possibility that we could get crit rate, crit damage, or flat stats. So be careful when you're rolling things to 16 because you can get baited. You can't unroll a piece of gear. Once you've rolled it up, it's done. There goes all that silver, right? Now, if you've ever seen me gear cleanse, I, gear, I do gear cleanses on twitch.tv. I do it pretty fast, and some people will be like, how do you do that? Like, I'll literally just, like, right? I'll have the sell the button, and I'm like this. Oh, you guys can't see it. Why did I move myself back? Let me just move myself up. Uh, right there. I'll literally just go like, okay, I could double roll. But if I don't want to double roll, I'll just keep go. Crit damage resist? Don't care. It's a lethal set. Yeah, crit damage could be nice. Resist could be like off piece. Don't care. Speed of defense? Okay, a defense nu nuker. But there's no crit rate, right? But this set does benefit off speed and ignoring defense. So it's like, you know, 50 50. Speed and accuracy? It's an off piece set. Now it's, it's become like an accuracy set, but we're not using the accuracy bonus. We're using a totally different bonus that's not going to help us because we're focusing on speed and accuracy. This is a perfect example of an off-piece set where you're trying to just get you're just trying to get the substats to get really high so you can get faster speeds in in a clan boss or faster speeds in arena or more accuracy in dungeons. This is what you'd be looking for. Create fake defense and resist. People would roll this just for the crit rate i'd only roll it to four and see how it rolls because we do not want resistance on our substat when you're trying to do damage accuracy and resist do not help you to do damage resistance makes you resist debuffs and accuracy lets you land your debuffs how does that increase your damage the only thing that increases your damage is your multipliers hp uh, uh, percentages like HP percentage defense and attack or crit rate crit damage masteries right so how would that help you know so if you have any other questions Raiders in terms of gear cleansing um, you can always hit us in the discord come come watch me on uh, Twitch I'm going to try to do YouTube streaming humming as well in the future so look out for that um if you guys have seen my resume you guys would know i'm a gear cleanse expert all right well thank you readers for watching this rage channel legends video what do you think about it 
How do you gear cleanse? Are you strict? Are you a hoarder? Tell me in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, Raiders.